All right, what's up YouTube? It is now Saturday. I'm gonna go ahead and actually watch a movie with Midori really quick because she's leaving town. So I'm gonna go ahead, spend a little time with her, and I'll see you guys after the movie. All right, what's up YouTube? So I just got off work right now. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really feel good. Jet lag is killing me right now. I have to be somewhere at 6 p.m. I feel exhausted, I wanna knock out, but I can't. I'll just sleep tonight when I get the chance. Just gotta push through it because if I sleep every single time I feel tired, then I'll never get over my jet lag. So I have to just push through it, push through it, persevere, be strong. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's a struggle, man. It's hard being a vegan. It's, it's hard being a, a vegan programmer. If you guys have any tips, please leave a comment down below. If you like them trying to veganism, put a like, like the video or whatever. Let me know what are tips. Um, should I not go veganism? Should I not be a vegan? Let me know. Other than that, man, um, it was really great just being back at work today. I was able to get a lot done and you know, after not coding for like a week and a half, almost two weeks, um, you kind of, you know, forget how much you love it. Um, and just coming back to work, the day went by really fast. Um, my work feels like my second home. I, I enjoy being here from morning to evening. It's great. I like working with my coworkers. Everyone works really hard. And that's one of the things I really like about my job is that literally, Everyone in the office works really hard and so you know like you just naturally want to work hard too and you want to naturally want to be someone who puts an effort and you're growing the company and making clients happy making customers happy making merchants happy and it's a great feeling and you know uh, when I came back towards the end of the day um, one of the other one of the owners came to me and said Chris it's good to have you back you know no one really makes pages as fast as you do and as well as you do and to hear that you know I'm not back in developer I'm a front-end developer transitioning to a full stack developer in PHP and my SQL but to hear that feels great because you feel needed you feel you feel important and you feel like you're valued in the company and that's an extremely good feeling to have because not many people can say that so I'm glad to be back so I'm gonna go ahead I'm not gonna knock out I'm gonna go to Chipotle get some food get some protein in me need some protein <laughs> get some tofu also and I don't know is it just me or does my voice feel kind of weird too because it feels weird it feels like I'm losing my voice and I don't know why because I didn't talk at all today. I barely did. I was just coding all the time, nonstop. So, all right, let's start to be real. I'll see you guys at Chipotle. Peace. Uh, so I'm here right now at the, where are we? We're at a vegan restaurant with Midori. But it's the first time I willingly went to a vegan restaurant, which is kind of crazy. What I got is a fried rice with some wontons. Midori, what did you get, Midori? It's basically vegan bun What is it? It's like vegan bun chayo. What's bun chayo? It's like a vermicelli noodles with egg rolls on top. Oh, really? It's a really it's a really popular Vietnamese dish, but this one's vegan. You know what they forgot to give me? My Diet Coke. <laughs> oh yeah, my, my drink's not here yet. Oh really? Oh, yeah. But alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and eat this food, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, what's up YouTube? Now, to be honest guys, it has been really hard for me to find time. Uh, to even vlog right now, to even find time to even talk about code or anything. Um, it's already Thursday and I've been vlogging I think since even Saturday and it's been really hard to find time. And kind of adjusting back into it since I was gone for like two weeks in Asia. Um, pretty much what I really want to talk about are the hard truths about a software engineer career, web developer career, back end developer, front end developer. And I, I think this is really important because with so many people going to this field now and with really coding blowing up, with so many people talking about code now and blowing up becoming really popular and people are starting to understand that if you're gonna have a career as anything if you want to have a secure career that will help you have a job pretty much for the rest of your life software development being a software engineer front-end engineer back-end engineer web development is the way you want to go and so because this is a field that so many people are going into I figured that this would be a very important topic to talk about and so I really hope that you guys can hear me but let's go ahead and go into it right now so there are four things I want to talk about tonight um, and I think this is really important. And so, about number one, that sometimes being passionate, hardworking, and engaged just isn't enough. Why is this so important? Why is this something I want to talk about? It's because everyone says they're passionate. Everyone says they're hardworking. Everyone says they're engaged and they're really determined in what they do. But again, if 
everyone is saying that, if everyone says they're passionate, then how, what do you need to be able to do to make yourself stand out? Because to be quite honest, and I'm sure you really already know that this field, this industry is extremely competitive. You can go to an employer and tell them you're passionate, but what is it that makes you so passionate? What is it that makes you so engaged? What is it that makes you so determined? What are you doing right now to make to show your employer or to anyone that they should hire you? Why is this such a big deal? It's because, for example, what makes you passionate? Are you contributing to on GitHub online? Do you even have a portfolio? If you don't have a portfolio, why don't you have a portfolio? What are you, are you only coding, following just what Team Treehouse is teaching you, Dacity or for the Firehose project? Or are you actually trying to be creative and think of something on your own to make it and show your personality. Uh, and I think it's one thing to really note is that companies are companies are not always looking for like rock star developers, coding ninjas. What are companies looking for? They're looking for people who are able, who are capable of working with a team. They're looking for people who are capable of really putting like so much effort going all out. They're looking for people who know how to work for an entire team to get a project done, but not just that. They're looking for people who even know how to communicate too. But I'm gonna go talk about that right now. And that brings me to number two. You, a lot of people think that when you become a programmer, you're just working on you know, your code. Yeah, I remember when I got into this, all, I thought all I had to do is put on headphones and just listen to music all day, coding and listen to my, my favorite music and just code all day, but that's not the case. To be quite honest, what is it that even companies are looking for, most companies nowadays, is that they're looking for people who also know how to communicate. Now, am I saying you have to get a communications degree at college? No, I'm not saying that at all. You need to be able to show them that you can also bring another asset to the company, not just coding like everyone else can do, but that you actually know how to communicate with clients. Because for example, for me, I am a front-end engineer at my company. And as a front-end engineer, I am the main front-end engineer, and now I speak with all the clients, which is really cool because uh, what's great about this is that because my company knows that I'm good at interacting with clients, that they actually trust me to speak with big clients. They know that I know how to speak, I know how to guide them and convince them and how to communicate with them and that if they're stressed out, I know how to calm them down. And even though they're annoying sometimes, that I know how to keep calm. The reason we get paid well is because the clients pay well not just our bosses. And so the way we get paid well is by getting more clients to help like work with our company so we can do the best that we can. Now, number three. I think this is really important. Uh, for example, I used to be really fit. I used to be really strong a long time ago. I'm not anymore. For me, now getting back into the gym, being a vegan as well, I remember I used to be able to lift 75 pound dumbbells. And that was my strongest. But now I'm starting over and one thing I have to remember is I have to leave my pride at the door whenever I go into the gym. I cannot lift as much as I used to. Yes, there's a lot of people who can lift more than me. But I have to remember that I'm not that strong anymore and I have to start from the bottom. And that's something that we have to learn as engineers, as front-end developers, back-end developers, software engineers, is that uh, and I think as when you re think that you know a lot, eventually you're going to realize that you still have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, a lot of us learn through YouTube, through Udemy, through uh, uh, Team Treehouse, Firehose Project, Udacity, learning using all of these resources online to learn, but we have to face it that the internet has been around for how long? 10 years or more? You think you could learn all of that in the span of just a couple months or a couple of years? No way! And not just that, code is only getting better, frameworks only getting better, libraries are getting upgraded, languages are improving, uh, new languages are coming out. Then what does that mean is that I have to be someone who can adjust, but I also have to be humble and realize I don't know everything. This is really important because like, just to give you a simple, simple reality check, these courses, these online courses that help you learn code, what is it that they're supposed to do? That they're supposed to help you build a foundation so that when you actually get a job, you can build on top of that foundation. Because let's face it, what is a real experience? Where do you get that real experience? This experience, where do you get it? You get it at the job. The experience that people want you for isn't what you learn from just an online boot camp or from an online course or from teaching yourself through books. But what is it that people get hired for is for the actual experience. And I think that's something that we have to remember as well. All right, guys, last but not least, number four. One thing you have to expect right away as someone getting to the field, as a junior developer or software engineer, is that you cannot expect to get paid a lot right away. Now, this does happen, but we, you know it doesn't happen to everyone, especially since like 90% of the people who watch this channel are self-taught developers. You can't expect to get paid as much as someone who went to a four-year school. It, it's just not real. I mean, it happens every so often. Um, even for me, I didn't get paid a lot when I first got hired, but it changed my life because it was way more than my previous job. And I think that's one of the things that people tend to expect that when you get into a job as a self-taught developer, a junior developer, a software engineer, that you can like get paid a lot right away, but that's just not reality. A lot of the times what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get into a job, 
and you're getting paid maybe forty five fifty thousand dollars a year maybe just under the average and what happens is that within that what first year or so that's the time that you use to show them that what is it that makes you valuable what is it that you have that'll make them want to give you that raise and if you're not trying to do that then you can't expect to get paid a lot but understand as well is that your first job is just your first job as a developer too. Now, I don't expect to be at my company forever, um, but I do expect to be there for a very long time. And if not, then I'll join a new company, but I do expect that when I join my next company, it'll be because they're gonna pay me much more than my current company right now. But so what do you do? You use that first company, use it as a tool, as a stool, to get you into that, that second job, to help you even be that much more skilled as a programmer, and use that to go to your next job and get paid more even there. Right. At the end of the day though, at the end of the day, I know a lot of these things aren't people are you know, I know that everyone expects to have the best job right away when you get into this career, but that's just not reality. The reality check is you still have to work hard. You have to work hard now if you're not hired yet, if you don't have a job yet now. But when you get a job is when you have to work even harder and show them even that much more how much you want it as well. But alright guys, I gotta go. It's late at night. I'm sorry if the quality of this video isn't as good as my usual ones, but hey, content's here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys later. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and make sure to like the video below. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. What are uh, reality checks? What's the reality that people don't realize happens in a software engineer that, as a software engineer, that might make them not wanna be it in the first place? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. See you guys later, and if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Uh, this is Krishan, this is Life for Web Developer, and I'm out, peace.